it's planeswalker matchups it's kind of awesome steal our opponents um lucas and things like that uh we got a showdown of the scalds for grindy matchups we got some boros charms we got an immortal sun to shut down planeswalkers so lots of cool technology there so this build is from meanwhile 11 11 who is a frequent modern streamer of hammer time um and uh has brewed up this deck for this format and is badass. How does one equip an ember cleave on a plow? Uh, duct tape? Handyman secret weapon. Duct tape. Yeah, big, big thanks to the, to the, the man Blitz, uh, the premier streamer of Mill. I had him on for a league of mill in modern where he was incredibly helpful. He's a uh, good, well, two Oh four is uh, I think it's like 50 up from where it was uh, two or three days ago. So it's uh, it's up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Blitz. Who's the premier mill uh, player ghost X O two who doesn't stream anymore, or at least I don't ever see streaming anymore. Is it ghost X O two who doesn't stream anymore? Is that who the, 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 the mill streamer is? <laughs> you got me <laughs> that's right if a woman doesn't find you handsome they say at least find you handy that's why i got uh i went with the handsome and then i just jumped just jumped the the shark tank on no <laughs> no point in me being handy red red green's great keep your stick on the ice remember once you reach a certain age, if you don't know something, just wink and nod. No one will bother you. I think, ironically, Red Green would be a Boros player. Uh, yeah, probably. Sounds correct. Um... Let me look in the Twitch dashboard thing. Because of your gift there, Blitz, it is entirely possible uh, we get to put that coffee emote down at Tier 1 now, where you guys can all access it. Because currently I'm the only one who can use that one emote, and I don't like that. Um, it's just that I only had enough... I only had so many slots for Tier 1 emotes. So this may be accessible to all of you, or we may need a few more sub points. Not sure. Oh no, it's it's down. It's down. I can move it now. That's great. Okay. How's the last league? Uh, we almost 5 0 We were one game away. Literally one game away, and we got we got stopped by a uh, Jund um, sacrifice that just went absolutely bonkers. Yeah. All right. Winning the die roll is great here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we played against a Jun Sacrifice player. No, <laughs> I don't think I misplayed. They just uh, had a completely busted Coco twice in a row. I wonder if I can just... Can I move this emote? How do I... Okay, uh, I'll deal with this when I'm not playing a match. Okay, how is my opening hand? Uh, good? Seems good. All right, let's go. Uh, one of the most important parts of uh, this deck... ...is um, that you can overcrew. 
um, in order to uh, just tap dwarves for uh, Magda. But you can't undercrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, sacrifice is playable. I mean, possibly, I don't want to say wholly on the back of Collected Company, but possibly heavily on the back of Collected Company, but still, that ain't not bad. Okay, so um, do I want to play this Dreadnought or the Shieldmate? If I play the Dreadnought, I could play the Shieldmate next turn, tap all three, and attack. So let's do that. It's assuming that Magda survives, but... You mean Inventor's Goggles? That should get them. Uh, well, they trialed me, so I won't be able to attack with the Dreadnought. Unless I want to arms and armored it, but I don't think that I do. Okay. Uh, now I won't be able to tap the shield mate this turn. Yeah, that sucks. Call Mr. Plow. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. The goggles, they do nothing. Well, they're not very good. They were part of an infinite combo in standard at one point. There was an infinite Thopter combo with Whirler Virtuoso and some of the modules. Pyromancer's goggles are sick. It's a sweet draft card. Should make the goggles with McBain. Can I kill them here? 7, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, I can. Well, I came here to crew vehicles and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of vehicles. Choose a dwarf you control. Uh, this one. Attach any of my equipment. Uh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let's go. This man is totally insane. Thank you. Because the fatal push? Eh, close enough. That's fine. Triggers. Here comes Fatal Push, here comes Fatal Push, jamming it down my throat. Magna's gonna die and then I'll be sad, I won't be the goat. Won't become the goat. I won't become the goat. There we go. How many get the Dargan? Five. Five. Embercleave might be better depending on the timing. We'll see, we'll see. Because like... This turn I can attack with both my dwarves. I'll have five treasures and then go bang. During combat, so. Interesting. Uh, go to combat. I don't. I don't know if I'm just supposed to go for the kill here. I mean, I have enough mana to re-equip it, so... There's lots of things that... Why didn't we plow? We don't have enough power? We don't have enough power to plow. I think they're animating Shambling Vent. I missed that as an option. Uh, 
Oh, I can get a different, like, vehicle. Peace Walker Colossus is probably the card, right? Because I just attack with two plows next turn. Okay. Target ETBs for damage, but you can't deal the damage to players. Creatures of Planeswalkers. Yeah. Yeah, Bogard and Hellkite is not legal in this format, but Bogard and Hellkite does what you want. Uh, I think we'll just get Peace Walker Colossus. It's fine. It's fine. Damn you, Atarka, you're too fair. Seven mana for the 8-8 Flying Trample. Yeah, I, I agree, Blitz. I missed the Shambling Vent activation, and I, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why. Don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Yeah, because I could have blown them out by equipping um, Embercleave, and then they would go to one. On the flip side, having the Colossus is not actually all that bad. So... Like, because we're now Wrathproof, which we wouldn't have been before. I, I just straight up missed the Shambling Vent, and that really set me in a bad spot. Rim Climb Pathway. That's sweet. I don't know this format, so we're getting, yeah. I mean, I fucked up on the shambling vent thing, but like this, I was not, that one I was not ready for. I guess it didn't matter then what I got, but holy crap, that sucks. We were so close. They had the, the eliminate, and then just everything after that point just was like perfectly lined up. Well, depending on what they do here, no, my non-creature spells cost extra. So even if I draw Peace Walker Colossus, I can't kill them now. Demonic Pact. Fuck. I mean, if I draw an Ox? Oh, well. Hello. Call Mr. Plow. That's his name. That name again. Oh, I, they're going to have another Fatal Push, aren't they? I could have this Plow animate this Plow. All right, well, I mean, not getting there by not attacking. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. Jeez. Yeah, I can't, can't beat them all. And the Helix, my dwarf. So now they're at eight. They got nothing back with Elspeth Conqueror's Death? That seems wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, okay, good. I get to respond. I'd like to clear this. <laughs> Too many plows. If I had drawn Ember Cleave there, we could have won it. It's pretty amazing that we could win that whole way along. Yeah. Yeah. Like this, this is like <laughs> been so close to reasonable. Okay. They can always just sack their, sack their demonic pact, right? So they're going to draw two cards now. I don't know. It, it's possible we could still pull this out if we hit a, another, um, if we hit another armed and armored? No, because they can leave up. We have to sack one of these this turn. They sacked the pact already? Wild. Wonder what they're worried about. Okay. Gets Urian. Okay. Conan, you've left yourself, again, theoretically open to death, but you've had removal every single time, so I assume you have it again. 
that ain't it. Okay. Damn. <laughs> you can't discard? I guess. I I guess I'm just a way greedier player than, than what they were there. Um, is this good? Maybe. Boros Charm is probably pretty good. Dragon Lord is not. Return to the ranks could be. I'm not sure. Glass Casket probably. I think I just want the Boros Charms. Uh, Heart. Seems like the most medium vehicle. They're not much on blockers. Or at least they haven't been so far. Okay. Let's try it this way. Is there something that's worse? No. They might have some kind of, like, board wipe for my small creature. No, they're playing white, though. They're going to have the good rats. So the size of my creature doesn't really matter so much. Maybe maybe we'll board out some of our... Yeah. The Elspeth Conquer's Death did take down our Peace Walker Colossus. That was, that was the worst. Woof. Could have brought in the Immortal Sun to draw two cards per turn. Not sure if that's uh, something we need to do. That is not a keep. Jeez, that's brutal. Opponent snaps off their seven. I, I think um, my thought process, King X Ziggy, is that, um, what do I want, how do I want to say it, is that we can always draw out to like an armed and armored and just kill him, um, but maybe that's way too greedy, that's, 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 that is the way I'm thinking about it, but that's probably wrong, so that like, if I have vehicles that I can't crew, like we could just top deck and kill them. But because like we were like supremely close that game, and they had like the eliminate, and then we were supremely close that game, and then they had the Elspeth into Fatal Push, and it's like every step along the way they just had like a pretty nice. <sighs> okay, I was really hoping that we wouldn't be totally flooded like this. We could still draw out of this, but this is uh, not the. <sighs> Such a weird. Okay. They're gonna have the trial of ambition. We're basically just gonna be toast here, but like I can't keep this plow right. And even the Boros charm is kind of crappy. Ugh. I don't know. It's just rough. I and mean, this is a nightmare matchup for us. They're playing literally black white removal dot tech. They're not even playing like any kind of counter magic to fight spell based decks. Just feels like they're they've got our number specifically. Because I think Peace Walker Colossus and a bunch of vehicles and the Armed and Armored is like the way I want to envision winning this game through all their removal and wraths and crap. But like, obviously, our draw is not cooperating here. We just flooded way too hard. So maybe I should have mulled for a five that was more aggressive. But like the way their removal has curved out, I just I don't even know if that's. Yeah, we're just we're just toast here, I think. That we just didn't have the draw. Like it was like when we played against the uh, Jund deck. Like sometimes you're just not going to be able to overcome them playing removal on one, removal on two. I think even if we were playing green green planeswalkers, like if they come out with the start of like turn one removal, turn two removal, 
you're just not going to win most of those games. Demanding Dragon. Uh, Demanding Dragon could be an okay sideboard card, I guess. Like in very specific matchups. It's pretty affordable. But I would assume Glory Banger would almost always be better. Hmm. These are dwarves. They're on burn though, but I have a plow. All right. we'll, we'll we'll keep this. It's not not strong, but not the worst. That is how we want to draw this up. If I could select a way my hand would go against burn, this, this, this be it. Time to take you to plow town, baby. Bogarden Hellkite is the, is the, uh, goat. Mike, Bogarden Hellkite. That's the dragon you write to your parents about. So next turn I could play Magda, Animate Mutavault, Crew, Peace Walker. I'm so close to being able to crew both of them in one turn. What is this? Defiant Strike. Oh, crazy. It's like Feather. I haven't seen Feather in forever. Crazy. Okay, I'm officially nervous. Yeah, I can, Mike. That's literally the line I was looking at. Yeah, I can. And I think that's the play. Uh, I need to have double red left up afterwards, so let's play Plovinch. Yeah. You know, white one. Crew. Would you like to block? Okay, you have chosen death. They're not actually gonna die, but. Smashy, smashy. Take 14. Oh, Woohoo! So they have to be able to kill me here. Uh, they can get, what, four prowess triggers? It's like eight damage, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's possible. Although that probably makes it harder for them. <laughs> so you've chosen inconvenience. Good, good. Okay, the land makes it possible for them to kill me here. Them going to combat means it's likely that they will not. Yeah, Mutavolt is a dwarf. Exactly.
I mostly know how I want to play my next turn, but I, I need to see the next card. Because we could just animate the plow and equip Embercleave, but... <laughs> <laughs> But if I play Magda, animate Mutavolt, I can use those two to animate the Peace Walker Colossus, and then I get two treasures, and then I can use the Peace Walker Colossus to animate the Plow. So I can attack with two six power creatures, which I think, no, they, they, they can't see that. I do not think they're going to get close to killing me here. I suppose on the flip side... Well, okay, but but let's say they have removal that could kill the plow. So if I play Magda, animate Mutavolt, both crew the Peace Walker Colossus, then... I can equip Embercleave because I get two treasures. Play Mutavolt first. So play Magda. I have one, two, three. Animate Mutavolt. Tap, tap, and then I have one. Should have enough for everything. So, my option here is equip Embercleave to Peace Walker Colossus or uh, animate the plow. Embercleave gives trample, so I'm pretty sure that's how I'm winning this game. So, while plow gaining me three is obviously something I'm interested in, I'm way more interested in just killing them through pretty much any amount of damage or any amount of blocking. 14 that I'm swinging for. Should be good enough, unless they have something insane that I don't understand. They have something insane I don't understand. Reckless Rage. Fuck! They have... What? Oh, there's a Soul Scar Mage! Oh! Shoot! Shoot! Ah, well, I get to wipe them here. And the Colossus doesn't die. Fuck! Oh my god, I forgot about Reckless Rage. God, this, ah, stupid format with these playable combat tricks. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die so hard. Jesus. I was like, there's no possible way they can. Well, it gains protection from the color of your choice. Oh, they just did it for the prowess trigger? I'm still going to kill it. Wait, what? 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 Huh? It still had double strike, right? I don't... I mean, I'm sure the game didn't get it wrong. I just... What? I, okay. I. So I'm just dead. Great. Awesome. S stupid. Jesus. This is a 3-3. Three, three. The Swiss is a 3-4 after two spells. Oh, oh, oh. And it only did six damage in total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. Stupid combat tricks. God, that was that was really frustrating. Uh, okay. I guess I could bring in Aether Sphere Harvester, but I, I don't think that's worth it here. So I guess I should have crewed up both of them. Although, then the plow would have died before attacking. So I think I end up in exactly the same spot. And they just chump block and make their their thing indestructible. 
No, they didn't have indestructible. They had protection. But I think it largely... They could just take the six and then kill me on the crackback anyway. So we had no chance. Yeah. As soon as I saw it was Feather, I knew I was worried and uh, for good reason. Feather is super... Oh, we have Graft Digger's Cage. Awesome. Okay, so... Cut these here. Because getting a free mass assault, I don't know if that's actually that good. And then... Hey, Mord. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen our games. We've uh, we've been doing some cool stuff. This deck is awesome. Big, big fan of this one. Maybe it's Embercleave. Kind of like the Embercleave though. It's heart. Maybe we'll pull out a plow. I don't want to cut any, like, the... Co yeah, heart is probably the worst card. <laughs> Dragonlord of Tarka is amazing, is what it is. So we're not having such a good run on this deck, but it does feel very powerful. Like, feels like this deck is doing good aggressive things Mord only cares about five color dragons well that's that's some bigotry i don't approve of that oh fear my one three that's fine just need to deal with the Arcanists. <laughs> also, the fact that they had one Soul Scar Mage last game, like they had one Soul Scar Mage, one Swift Spear, and two Dreadhordes. And we just got smashed by the fact that they got to put the counters. Our deck is spectacularly failing to do things, but all right. And unfortunately, like, they'll have artifact removal if they have it in their deck at all. Because, you know, we showed them a bunch of vehicles that we tried to kill them with and Embercleave. Phalanx Leader. Sure. That is awesome. Card goes wide. This deck really likes to flood for no particular reason. It's not. Look at it. Oh, I should have shocked so I could attack with mutable or whatever. Uh, in the case of removing the Phalanx Leader right now, I just. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Fight as one. Oh, it's just to put one counter on their Sysphere? Sure. Seemed bad. Seemed like a bad trade. It's just favorite Hoplite, but worse? Well, I'm not sure about that, but certainly doesn't seem, like, impressive. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll take your five. Great. Super timing. I'm very disappointed in you, Colossal Plow. You have no idea. On the plus side, they have, like, no cards in hand, so... Sure. No, I'll just take that. Come on. Come on. OK, 
Okay, they're gonna have Reckless Rage for sure, but whatever. Yep. This card is so stupid. Okay. Don't get me wrong, their deck is sweet. It's just like super frustrating that we're just like not doing anything over here. I guess I should have brought in Showdown Scalds, but I feel like that's like confirmation bias on the fact that we just drew like garbage here. I can't take this much damage. I have to sack a dwarf. Yikes. What the hell is this? Grab their Luris. Oh, great. This deck does not want to win. It just doesn't want to win. I, I can't... <laughs> I can't make it go. We we had some good games. We just got blown out. Maybe this is why I couldn't rent the Armed and Armored. Because they didn't want me to be disappointed. They were looking out for me, Blitz. They were looking out for me the whole time. Fuck. Come on. No, not not one not one whiff from them. They had action basically the entire game. Okay, moving on. I know I kept, like, a reasonably weak hand there, but, like, we just drew absolutely nothing. Is it... Is this deck overlanded? It, it shouldn't be. No, not at all. Huh. Just... just drawing poorly. It's all good. All right, let's see if I can... I don't... I'm sure I'm able to move this emote, but... Can't do it. I don't know why they would make it this obnoxious. All right, match the third, let's go. Sure. Lead on Mutavolt Dreadnought? Yeah. <laughs> we got our Dragon Lord Atarka. She's a big gal. She's a big mama. Okay, we don't know what we're up against. They don't have a companion. So let's lead on our, our dwarf. The boat! Go, Bodie, go! Bodie McBoat face. Oh no. Whew. 
Quit. <sighs> Punished. I was trying to think of something that required the, the mana on two for, for double colors, and uh, I, I did not, and that's on me. Next turn, I can play Veteran Motorist, have it crew the heart, and the heart would almost be able to crew the Dreadnought. Almost. <laughs> so even if they Karn me, I can Armed and Armored my team. I think this turn though we'll just go motorist and hit them for five. Seems pretty good. I think next turn I can attack with Dreadnought and uh, Dreadnought and um, Heart, though, which very close to lethal. Oh, but it's still in the tank, huh? Fun. Fun on a bun. So it turns out we're getting close to the next next emote slot, but that is 12 sub points away, so that's much further. But we're on the way. Eleven sub points away. It's not bad at all. Uh, and oh, they're still doing nothing. That's all I want. What's up, Speev? There they go. Okay, they figured out how to make five mana. Now they've got three mana, if they want it. Why on earth is there a Dragon Lord of Tarka? Well, I don't know if you've read the text on Magda. But if you do, I can tell you, you'll probably figure it out. It is pretty sweet. Okay, if I play Magda, we use Motorist to Crew Heart, which gives me a treasure. I animate the Muta Vault, then I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so 
Play the Magda, use Magda and the Motorist to crew the Dreadnought. Use one to... Yeah, okay, got it. So... Triggers. Yeah, this deck is very, very cool. This comes from Connorman11 on uh, Twitch. Streams a lot of very aggressive decks, plays a lot of Hammer Time in Modern. And I saw him playing this deck in Pioneer, and I thought, that is fantastic. And I just need need to do it, because it's, it's just sweet. So freaking sweet. The boat. The boat is big. The boat is live. Uh, let's... Animate Mutavaults. Use Mutavaults to crew the heart. Next turn, I can put five treasures into play. And thus, um, it is possible we will be able to kill our opponent. So I'm going to have heart attack them. I'm going to have Consulate Dreadnought attack the Nyssa because it could one-shot it if they choose not to block. And that would be a huge gain for us in terms of stymieing their mana. Or they chump block with a Forest, which is fine. And we can get the Embercleave onto Dreadnought next turn and potentially be attacking for 16. <clears throat> if they have um, Karn to shut down all of my vehicles, this will still... Um, crew them and we can kill them that way so we're reasonably ready to win this one but never count out mono green that deck is very very good no land drop seems good we'll see thus far this is not an impressive amount of mana Could also just straight up play Dragon Lord of Tarka next turn. Which is which is just neat, right? Like that's just that's just cool. I was looking in the mana base, I was like, there's no green sources to fetch. And I was like, wait, there's no fetch lands. No fetch land format. But we got all these treasures, and we only need one green mana. Obviously we need seven mana, but Magda makes a lot of treasures. This deck is this deck is sweet. This is a good time. We got all the lotus petals, my friend. All the lotus petals. I feel like we need the Jeopardy sound effect for the opponent here. Do 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 this has been sound effect time with Zach. Voracious Hydra x2 sure okay that 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 does ruin my plans a little bit just a little bit they found a blocker this was not part of the plan oh shoot all right might be in bigger trouble than I thought. We'll see. Oh. OK. 
Come on. How dead am I? Karn. Okay. That was one of the things I was definitely nervous about. It means my treasures are off until after combat. Essica's chariot. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a lot of blockers. <sighs> crap. Crap. Them killing the Magda was so brutal. Ah. Alright. Well, I can at least clear this Karn, but after that, I don't know about the rest of this game. Go team. God, Essica's chariot. Oh, man. It looked so good. It looked so good. I mean, we still have the Heart of Kirin. We can fly over every turn and attack with, so we're not toast, but this, this Nyssa is just going to bury us, I'm pretty sure. Right. Not gone yet. All right, Peace Walker Colossus. This boy can crew our, crew our uh, heart and our Dreadnought every turn, so we're not dead. Just mostly dying. If I found another Magda, I think we could go a little nuts again, but... Go Magda, animate, one, two, three. Nah, that's not that good. Not in one turn. I need, I need an extra turn with her. Freaking Voracious Hydra for two was more than good enough. Yep. What do you got? What is with the mono green planeswalker opponents being so slow tonight? I don't I don't get it. Okay. That's definitely gonna be really neat here though. Yes it is. We have Mortal Sun and Silumgar. Jeez. Second card. Bring some glass gets. That's probably where we want to be. Okay. The boat is turned against me. No. This cat is really fluffy, though. Look at how glorious that is. All right, opponent, kill me. Kill me! Use your forest and your land or elves to boot up your chariot. Bring on the pain. Oh, sure, do it that way. Either way. They're leaving the elf back? Bruh. I guess if I drew an arm and armored, I could almost kill them right off the top. That's not going to do it. <laughs> they had to die the card. Yay, you did it, opponent, and you're only down on clock by eight minutes? <laughs> Wild. OK. 
Okay, is this a creature or artifacts? No, it's just target creature. Okay. Um, so Dragon Lord and a Mortal Sun. It's probably it. I don't think I want the glass caskets. Maybe when we're on the draw. So I could probably take out a Tarka and... I don't think I want to take out Embercleave. What's up, El Rodeo san? Um, take out an armed and armored. No, I need that to beat the Karns. Let's take out like a staunch shield knight. I like the one drops though. Motorist was really good in that game too. Pi seems less than great here. Two minutes, six three in a matchup where my life total is not super relevant. Well, this hand doesn't do anything, but we've got two motorists to scry, so let's assume that we'll get there with this. Opponent keeps a seven. Well, shit. What do you have, opponent? What is this game? Shit. Come on, Dick. Don't do me like this. Okay. It's going to be too slow. But I guess I want these in this order. Because then I can play the Dreadnought and Scry again. Okay. Get in for my one chip damage here. Turn four, I'll be attacking with my 7-Eleven. Yeah, probably should have just mulliganed. I think we need better hands than this, but I just... Maybe not. Oh, great. Yeah, they're playing basically the list I was playing. Hooray, we're stonewalled. Um, I mean, the, the Dreadnought will go in next turn, but. Well, that Ox would have been good before. On the plus side, we have the Dreadnought to block, so that ain't not bad. I have the Dreadnought to block as a 9-13. That's kind of fun. Unless, of course, they have Karn here, and then we're just flipped. Oh, boy. Oh, I smell my doom. Yep. Jeez. I mean, my consulate dreadnought's big enough to crack through all this, so... But if they hit Nykthos or something... What does doom smell like? <laughs> Funky. Funky fresh, my friend. Maybe we should do it that way. Uh, 
So, um, this may have been a mistake. Oh no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'll take 10. I have them dead on the crackback. I wonder what. Okay. Okay, hold on. Ooh, okay, good draw. Um, I can get five treasures in one turn. I did not cut my Ember Cleave. I did not cut my Ember Cleave. Good, good. This is excellent news. Okay, go to beginning combat. Dudo gets his trigger. Okay. So, crew six. Okay. Crew four. Does not have first strike, but that's okay. We don't need it to. We can ask my opponent what doom smells like, but they probably don't know, but they will. They don't know that they're supposed to know, but they will. Magda is sweet. Um, uh, I don't know. Hit you for <laughs> 17 with the dreadnought. Womp. <laughs> oh, ah, I thought we were in trouble there. Okay. Glass casket for the, for the trolls. Seems good. Um, Silumgar is probably excessive with the other two in here. So I don't want to draw it. And then... I think we need to find a pretty aggressive hand. A motorist and... Cut a plow, let's cut an ox. Alright. Let's go, let's get a match win, baby. Okay. This hand is really, really good. I will keep it. 
I will keep this hand. That is good. They kept their seven though, so good draw. Very good draw. I can't make this big this turn, so we'll just play the shield mate. He's a brick house. Oh no. At least they didn't have the Nykthos. Oh, they just burned it off. Oh, thank God. Wow. That's, uh. That was very lucky. Um. So I could play Magda this turn and get one treasure. The one treasure I could turn into a toolcraft exemplar this turn. Or I could play Heart of Kirin this turn. Next turn, get three treasures in one go. Four treasures in one go. No, three? Just three. Is there a way to get four? It's probably a way to get four. All right. The one treasure this turn would involve me attacking with Staunch Shieldmate, though, and it eating it to their creatures, so it's probably not a good idea. So play Muta Vault this turn, play the Heart, play Battlefield Forge next turn, play Magda, Toolcraft, go crank up. All right. Take the wheel, Heart of Kieran. Take the wheel. This will be close. Really hope they don't hit me with a Karn right here. That would be very bad. Nykthos is mana neutral right now. That could quickly change. Fuck. Okay. I, I did not think of the worst case scenario, which is this. They plus the Karn? Wild. God, the turn three Karn on the play. That's that's a tilt. We get to bonk him for whatever good that will be. I can't even cast this Embercleave next turn unless I draw uh, a red source. But... Their mana didn't go up this turn, so here's hoping they can't do anything with this. Or anything impressive. Seems unlikely, but possible. Oh, no, 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 not Nissa. No Nissa, please. Crap. I need to, you to chill out with your curving out so perfectly, opponent. <laughs> this is this is not okay. 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 So you're saying there's a chance. Okay. 
So if everything attacks Karn, I'll probably Ember Cleave Magda no matter what. But I, I think this is like 100% where we want to be. All right, this guy's going to be big. Do I need everything to attack Karn? Probably not. But nickel and diming Nissa is not particularly valuable, so. So if I attack just this on Nissa, that should be good. One, two, three, go on Karn. They'll block, block. Magda probably gets the the Ember Cleave, goes through for three or four plus. All right, so we should get a free couple shot of damage on Nissa this turn. It's not it's not important, but I feel like it's not important in my current strategy, but I think it could end up being important overall. Let's see what happens. Drawing the red source there was so important. Alright. Yeah. Nope. Okay. It's pretty much exactly what I assumed. Go Embercleave. Now I know what you're all thinking. Embercleave can't even equip right now, but wait, it has an enter the battlefield trigger that says when, enter, when Embercleave enters the battlefield, you get to equip it for free, free real estate to one of your creatures. I know. I need them not to remove my Magda this turn, but they didn't get anything with their Karn to do it. And another Karn doesn't beat me here. The land from Nyssa doesn't beat me here. They need something pretty hot. I mean, they have plenty of mana, so let's see, but uh, uh, Vivian would do it. Vivian or Karn? Probably be the best things they could have here. Or at Voracious Hydra, too. Would do it. But then I'd have a pretty big Toolcraft Exemplar going at them next turn, so I don't know. Peace Walker Colossus. Animate Heart of Kirin. Equip them Embercleave. Crack them for 10. Is also an option. So. Let's do it. Let's get them hard. I mean, let's pound them. I mean, oh, whatever. Shit. Not what I wanted to see. Yep. It trades with my Magda, though. If they... No, oh, no, it doesn't. It's it's a, it's a bite, not fight. Or as I like to call it, a unidirectional fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love seeing the text in chat. I'm being attacked by a forest. No, the forest! It's coming right at me! So Toolcraft Exemplar would be, what, a 4-2 four, a four double strike? That will kill their Nissa no matter what. So that's going to be... Uh-oh. Uh what is this? Oh, they can nick those for 6 mana here.
Okay. They use the forward to kill Magda. Yes, yes. This is. We knew this. Uh oh. Getting scary. Voracious either. Fuck! Come on! Stop! Ah! Fuck! No! Ah! Blah! No! Eight, nine, voracious Hydra. Why? Or maybe they'll just make it super gigantic. <sighs> Fuck, man. We could top deck the glass casket. Other than this, yeah, they're just going double size. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, their draw was so gross there. <sighs> I could block it for 10. It's not enough. Yeah. All right. So close. So close. We had outs, but we just couldn't hit them there. We did get a game win there, though. As I had hoped for. And uh, against one of the, the best decks in the format. So it feels like we're not necessarily totally equipped to, to play well against. Like, the treasure generation is fantastic here. So at least that much is going well. Been able to do the Magda thing a bunch of times. <laughs> Playing against someone who's 04. Okay. Maybe this one. Maybe we can win this match. I have so much hope in this little deck list. Alright. This this hand looks like it could be really good, and we got a lot of top fuck. Something control, eh? <laughs> Um, playing the Dreadnought first means I'm hoping to hit um, the Ox off the top, like, exclusively. Whereas Toolcraft into Magda, I think, is probably better. Because we get to go Toolcraft into Magda, attack, get a treasure, make a Consulate Dreadnought. I could hold on to the treasures to try to, like, you know, do that first. Uh-oh. Double Magda is good. So make one this turn, two next turn, or make two on the turn. Yeah, because I could play Motorist this turn, and then, ah. I'm sure they'll have some kind of counter magic sensor, or... Ooh, interesting. Seal away? Whatever. I'm not worried about it. The matchup where, in theory, we'll have to be looking out for Wraths, but... I'm attacking for a lot of damage already. What if instead of playing out more things that will die to their wrath, 
and just play out Dreadnought and a Plow. Absorb. Now there's a name I have not seen in a long time. Long time. So trigger. Crew. So I wonder if they're going to have a shark to block here. I assume these decks are playing Shark Typhoon. And currently we can fetch out something at instant speed. Okay. Nothing from the opponent. So we are playing another plow. Go team, go! This intervention, sure. Four mana, draw two. Seems fair. Seems fair. To fairy five. To fairy five. Yay! I don't know what happened, but... <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Alright, let's assume they do have Planeswalkers. So I want both of those. Um... Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, Return to the Ranks could be good here, but I, I'm not sure about that one. Ditto Boros Charm to deal with the Wrath. So, take an ox, take out a plow, take out a tarka, and we need one more. Staunch shield knight. Yeah, because they're they're not very aggressive at all. We need a showdown. I want to cut too many doors, but. Let's go, baby. Let's get us a match win. I know we can do it. I know it. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Double Magda is definitely not the best, but... I feel like we can draw what we need to make the same come together. Fatal passage here. Foretold. Okay, that's gotta be um, Doom Scar, right? Anybody? Anybody think it's Doom Scar? Uh, okay. Let's play up Magda here, because Magda starts generating treasures, which we kind of need at the moment. Raven form. That's what they put out there. That's funny. Raven form. I got a burb. I now have burb. Get him. Ah! Scree. Hmm. 
Alright. Alright, alright. Things are getting better. Oh, sweet. can play Magda, but I have no way to get anything else going. I'm just one mana short right now. So what if... I could just attack with heart this turn, huh? That's probably okay. And then if they have some kind of removal, I, I'm not really fussed. Get him, boys! Oh, sorry, it's charm. Blue! Blue! Rubbish. Filth. Oh, no, they're going to make me shuffle. I definitely didn't want to draw that heart of Koran. Boy, am I. Gosh, I'm just so upset. Opponent, give me the business here. Yay, it's the fairy five. They drew? Oh no. Don't like that. Okay. Well, that's gonna be good soon ish. Let's crew four. But if I have heart, I can do that. Okay. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do a crew chain. It's kind of funny. Resolves. Resolves. Thank you. All right, you two hop in the heart of Kieran. What? Just, just do it. All right, all right, heart of Kieran. You hop in the Peace Walker Colossus. What? So just do it. Azorius Charm. They already had one. There's no way they'll ever have a second one. It's just not possible. Now seal away. That's possible. Nope. Yeah, I, I, I used to play four in Blue, White, and Pioneer. They didn't have it. I mean, we, I gotta I gotta go for it. Dig. That makes sense. That's... You played four in Standard. Okay, I, I did play with that card was legal in Standard. That was a period of time where I was not playing Magic Gathering cards. Elspeth. That's cute. How many creatures can I attack with? Oh, the treasures bridge me no problem, huh? Probably though. Man, I really, <laughs> it's really not coming together so well. Just need a little more. Oh, they shot my Mutavolt before. I was wondering, I was like, I feel like I'm missing something that I thought I had strategically. They fielded it, yeah. I need to get this guy going this turn, but I want to attack with at least two creatures. I can play this Peace Walker Colossus, use one, two... To cre yeah, but then I can't Ember Cleave, which I also want to do. I just, I don't think I can do everything I want to do this turn, and that's fine. Sometimes you gotta be okay with the mediocre turn. So animate my heart. So 
will try to knock down their Elspeth. Most likely to elicit a response. Sure. So, in theory, Armed and Armored will kill them next turn along with Embercleave and Boros Charm. Uh, yeah, I will be able to do all of it. Oh, Magda, you're neat. You make magic fun. Supreme verdict. This is the way. Oh, shoot. Now I am short mana. But... Actually, no, I have enough. Okay, I, I have what I need. Go team! Tech. Oh, I forgot. That gives me mana. Okay, that might make this a kill this turn. Which I was not expecting. Here's Johnny! Are you dead? Did I did it? I did it. Yay! Bye, opponent. Smush. We got him. <laughs> For those who miss Uro, he was turned into a plow. It's a big in. All right. 2 0 and blue white control. That's hysterical. We're on the way up. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll, all right? All right? Listen. Long way to the top. You don't think blue-white control works in Pioneer? It should be blue-black control. Explain how. I played a lot of blue-white control before, and everyone always told me it wasn't good, and then I consecutively top-aided... 1Ks in my city. Like in one weekend, I did two days in a row and I top eight it with blue eye control. It was earlier in Pioneer, don't get me wrong. Like the format has changed. Yeah, true. Losing Teferi is a big deal. I haven't played it since Teferi was banned, so that's that's fair. But I just, at the time, people were saying the exact same thing. They were like, oh, you can't play blue eye control. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to do it though. And it was fine. Yeah, blue black with notion thief actually sounds a lot of fun anyway. The Narset Wheels deck. Okay, so I think I'll set up for treasures again. Seemed to work really well last game. I think the format will move more towards aggro. Okay. I mean, Pioneer has always been pretty aggressive, so I don't, I'm not sure if that's, I mean, it was, it was combo, it's a lot of combo, but like, I don't know, I, I don't, I'm not sure if that makes any sense to me, because like, things like Jeskai Luka still seem insane. Any of the combo decks that want, or any of the control decks that really want to beat aggro should have a pretty good, pretty easy job doing it in Pioneer if they want to. Okay. If I play Dreadnought this turn, I can crew it next turn. So I can crew it and make three treasures next turn. I 
also get a free attack here, which is good. Get him. Tink, tink. Because we're going to need... Um... Yeah. I will, I will say blue-white definitely has a bit of a rougher time against the Clarion Spirit. You can cast your second spell each turn. Create a one. Wow. That is terrible. Oh, it's a creature. For some reason, it just looks like an enchantment to me. Okay. Interesting. Well, they're going to make a bunch of dudes. But we're going to be able to um, tutor with Magda next turn. Oh, if I, I think if I stack this differently, I can do it twice. No, I can't. So I won't be able to create a treasure with that, but that's okay, because we'll do it next turn. Here comes the boat, here comes the boat. Here comes the boat, here comes the boat. And boat. Go, boat, go. Smash. Veteran motorist. Uh, I don't need either of these right now. Nope, don't need those. Bottom, bottom. Okay, next turn I get a Dragon Lord of Tarka. Or an Amber Cleave, just kill him, so. We got options, we got options. Selfless Spirit, sure. That's cute. Mono White Snow Tokens? Snowkins? Yeah, they're dead. So dead, opponent. So dead. Oh. All right. I can make five treasures a turn now. Nice. Nice. Um, so let's go crew this with one, two, three. I guess I could attack with the staunch shield, mate. I'm not going to. Whee! Do 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 do. Charge. Boy, that's a big boat, I tell you what. You know, when you've got a boat like that one, you really want to take it out. Alright. What do you got? Because we got the boat. Das boat. Woohoo! Amicly. Snap on. Going to Cleveland, baby. Wah. We got to learn him. Opponent basically added some new cards to a challenge deck. Yeah, possibly. Okay. Um, I don't have any board wipes. I guess Glass Casket is probably relevant. But it feels like they're not playing any interaction. So I don't even want to do this. I just want to like proactive them to death. Like I think taking out any of my engine cards is probably a bad choice. Like they're not playing Planeswalkers. They're probably not playing anything out of their graveyard. His Damping Sphere would be kind of funny because they're trying to play two spells a turn. But like... I don't think so. 
I think what we have is the best. We never actually got this Dragon Lord of Tarka in any game, but it would have been good in some of them. We were very close to it, we just never could get to it. I think it is worth having, but it's just not worked out. Yeah, this is not bad. It's not great. I guess Armed and Armored could have come out. Okay, this is a really good card. It's actually a very good card right there, so. They got something going for them. All right, let's see if we can top deck the, the Ox this game. Yeah, no, I understand that, Terror. I just, uh... Yes, it's not that efficient, but like, just on raid, it's very good. Same with the Danto Vanguard. Hey, we did the thing. Awesome. All right, all right. Come, Mr. Plow. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. We only get to attack for six, or sorry, for for um four, because they can block and make their Vanguard indestructible, but. I'm okay with that. Yep. Guess I'm taking five on the crackback when I could have potentially blocked and killed, but they left their mana up. Do you have a plane opponent or are you just misclicking? God's willing? Uh, could be. Now we get to leave the ox back to block, which is kind of great on this board. Smash. Chop down. That was... Quality removal spell. I mean, my hand has nothing now. Try to draw a Magda or something. They had the technology. That makes me even all sure. So we're taking four here. Okay, life total is getting bullied a little bit, so not not in the best spot anymore. We get to play the giant kill. Holy crap! Okay, gonna need opponent to chill a little bit. That is a lot of damage coming at me. Probably should have. Played this so I could leave out the Munivolt. Oh well. Okay, Plow. Señor Plow, no es macho. Este es un borracho. I guess I could trade Toolcraft Exemplars for the Ushers. Ah, oh, we're not in that bad of a spot. <laughs> you like their use of Mutavolt and Snow Mutavolt? Yeah. It's a sweet, sweet card. I like the one from Zendikar that's like four mana to animate. It becomes a zero zero, but you put two counters on it each time. So it's like a colorless Raging Ravine. It's clearly not very good, but like. I like it. Yikes. Yeah, we are we are in trouble. Uh 
Oh, I did. Uh, I meant to animate the plow, but I didn't. Oh. Uh, no, this is gonna block there. Okay. Probably sacks the selfless spirit here. One, two, one washes the other. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. More? Oh, it's just the giant killer. Yeah. But now they can tap my ox if if, if I decided to leave it back to block, which obviously I'm not gonna do. But yeah. Thought it was the greatest man land ever printed. It would get an instant inclusion into each one. No, no, it's it's a bad card. I just like it. You know, like it's just one of those cards where I'm like, oh, I, I like what this does. Like it's just such a cool. It's bad, definitely bad. But I like plenty of bad cards. Okay, so gain three. Turns out the deck full of one mana two ones can kill you. News at 11. Yeah, yeah. We are playing Pioneer. It's not, it has not been going very well, but we are playing Pioneer. So I'm just taking eight here? Interesting. Eight on my eight life total. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Strange that they didn't choose to attack with their Faceless Haven. They attack with Mutavault instead. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Okay, let's take these out for these. Seems, seems like all we need to do. We will be in a much better spot. I guess I could have brought an Aether Sphere Harvester. Maybe I was supposed to. Hand's good. Hand is good. Some might even say great. Not me, though. I don't like exaggerating. Time to ox him up, baby. Woohoo! Get in the get in the boat, buddy. Strap it to my back and I can carry the whole world. Smash. Nice aggro deck. What do you got? What do you got? You have to you have to constantly pull up the ban list to remember what you can try. Wilderness Wreck is gone. Tell you that much. Legion's Landing. Not seen that card in a minute. Yep. Okay, I can't actually play this this turn if I want to do the other things. Seems like nobody really knows what to play without Oko. I know what to play. I know what to play. Strifo Pile. Mono Blue Karn Echoes. That's all I want to play. 
Sneak and shout. No. No. That ain't me, dog. That ain't me. No. Strife up pile and mono blue car and echoes. That's that's what I'm all about. Mono blue car and if I want to go aggressive and dumb. And strife up pile if I want to try hard and feel smart. Although sneak and show should be pretty good right now. I do I do not doubt that. Really? They just gave up their Legion's landing flip. You want to fit Uro into Rug Delver. So you want to play like Poke Pile Mark II? I mean, that's something you can do, but I mean... I do not know how successful that will be. I think I'm willing to trade my tool craft exemplar on this uh, attack. This is not newly controlled. This one is newly controlled. Okay. If I trade toolcraft though, I won't be able to attack with the second dreadnought. So no, I'm not. It's rug, but with Uro and no Oko. I played it before. I just need a three drop to fit in the Uro spot. We can crew our other Dreadnought on the block here. That's kind of good. The next turn, double boat. Sure, they could deal with one boat attacking them, but two boats? Nobody could deal with two boats. That's a good drop. I like that one. Think maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna win this match. Do I want to attack with Mutavault? I think so. I can. This deck's got it going on, baby. I don't know. Let's go kill him. Opponent is about to be very, very dead. I don't know, Embercleave. Let's put it on this one because if they have a removal spell, I want the ones that are already in fights to stay in those fights. STP swords to plowshares? They had uh, they had chopped down. Settle the preckage. Not Stone Temple Pilots, okay. I'm gonna assume you meant settle the prackage. Settle the frackage? Send the package. Sure, sure, sure. You meant plow? Okay. You meant plow.
Apparently opponent has more removal. I will attempt to kill you again. If a judge isn't around to see it, is it cheating? Uh, it's actually that actually is an interesting question for for competitive magic because there is weird stuff like we like as a judge you we can't make ruling. Why would you? Whatever. Uh, as a judge, you can't make rulings on a game that's completed. Um, but if it, it it gets really complicated investigations are complicated but suffice to say there is a weird thing about like if if nobody knows it was cheating or or the judge didn't see it yeah exactly yeah all right so we, we managed to two three better than the other vehicle deck by far which is great um so big fan of that one um So yeah, good deck, cool deck. We never got the Dragon Lord Atarka. I don't think that necessarily means it's bad. Embercleave was an A plus 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 A plus uh dude. Fifty new items. I guess it's better than zero. Exactly. Better than zero on our previous uh, vehicle brew. Um Uh, yeah, I don't know entirely what the sideboard strategy is all about, but some of it makes sense. Most of it makes sense. We ran into some really rough matchups where it's like, we would really want a bunch of early game interaction and we didn't have it. Oh, Wantless, you were my opponent last round. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, I'm just tired. It's the third league. Um, so yeah, it's a banger. Connor Man 11 knows what he's about with a sweet aggro deck. Magda got to really shine in this one and uh, is fantastic. And uh, yeah, we had uh, had a good time with that one. Armed and Armored for some reason is impossible to get a hold of, but we eventually did it. So I'm glad we got to do that. With all that Meanwhile. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. I hope you've had a good time. I'm going to send you all over to my buddy Chase Hansen, Strafo, playing Legacy. Probably not for much longer. Uh, this is usually close to where he wraps it up, but uh, maybe he'll go a little longer with the whole awesome raid. Enjoy, folks, and I'll see you there.